Here we are doing some linear approximation for a function that has e to a power. So we're trying to use a linear approximation to evaluate e of 0 0.06. So we need to figure out first what that function is that we're plugging into, and that would be e to the x. It's not given to us very nicely, and we're also not told what value will help us approximate that. So we need to figure out a value that we could do in our head, which would be a equals zero. E to the zero is one because any power or any base to the power of zero is always one. And zero is also very close to 0 0.06. So we picked a value that is near what we're trying to approximate that we can do without a calculator. So we're gonna plug into our linear approximation formula. We're gonna start by figuring out what f of a is. So f of e to the zero f of 0 is just going to be 1. Our next step is to take the derivative at a equals 0. So we're going to take the derivative first and plug in 0 after. So the derivative of e to the x is super nice because it's just e to the x. So when we do f prime of 0, we're also going to do e to the 0, which is also going to be 1. So our third step is to write the overall equation. That linear approximation is going to be f of a, which was 1, plus f prime of a, that was also 1, times x minus a. Our a value here was 0. This is one where we had to figure out what a was, was ourself, but not too bad. Just think of a number you can plug in in your head. And you can leave it just like that, or because we're doing x minus 0, I might just write this as 1 plus 1x. Or you can write it as x plus 1 might be even easier. Whatever makes it fast for you to plug in the approximation in your head. So we're trying to estimate e to the 0 0.06, which will approximately be L of 0 0.06, which is going to be 0 0.06 plus 1. In other words, our approximation is 1.06. And you could grab your calculator if you have one and check that you are close. See that this formula does work. It gets you very close to the exact answer.